Hello friends! Today's adventure is building the lids for my lizard pits. So I'm outside on this gorgeous day. I've got some family members coming by to hang out outside and help me out. I've got a new toy. Nice miter saw to help me cut all the wood. And we're gonna get these lizard pits finished up so the animals can come out and enjoy them without me having to stand there and supervise the whole time. Some birds coming by. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set up and uh, start going. Okay, we got miter saw set up. We got the boards marked at where I want it cut. And we're gonna start cutting. One thing I didn't take into account is that I want to cut this in half. So there's half on each side of the divider. I have four of them to do. We were going to use my nice fancy router. It doesn't come with any of the bits, so we'd have to go buy the bits. Uh, how about you don't? There's a thumb side we're good. Yeah. You're going to bust your other foot. <laughs> so we're going to jigsaw it. I got another new tool. Cool. It's a uh, handheld circular saw. So this should make us cutting that board even faster and more convenient. And let's be honest, I probably could have just bought this one and not bought the miter saw, but now I have multiple new tools to play with. So John is just setting it up now. We also got Slopies because in all of my videos, I seem to have a Slopey. Yes. And Yay. And yeah, we're uh, we're gonna have this done. Right, we got our new tool. John's got it set up all clamped in. We're gonna find out if this works. Beauty. So apart from the fact that the board is warped to sin? Yep. Cut just fine. 
Wonderbar. Let's keep going. We need three more boards cut. Yep. Showing off the garden. It's actually growing. We're growing real plants. As opposed to fake plants, which are hard to grow. All right, we're actually putting this together now. And I have recruited Ricky to help as well because the middle piece has all bowed out. So we have to kind of push it together to hold it in. John's getting this lined up. The outside pieces are fairly easy to put together, but the inside pieces need some extra effort. <laughs> You're doing great, John. Ricky's going to be manning the cameras this time. So shake it. Yeah, shake it like a Polaroid picture. No. Fine. was hanging out there. Don't know where she's gone at this point. We're looking for a spider friend. Yeah, I saw her earlier. She's around. Very nice uh, yellow and white pattern on her. Aww. And Ricky pointed out, my potatoes are growing. Or our potatoes. Common law marriage means she owns half. Ever feel like you're being watched? Huh? Ever feel like you're being watched? Constantly. You always feel like somebody's watching you. growing strawberries They're for the skinks but sometimes we steal them instead come over there too I felt sturdier so there's a little trick when you're doing wood screws. Mm -hmm. If you are doing the specifically wood or decking screws, you want to go one size smaller than your screw when you're doing the hole. So that way when it's going down, the thread's actually have something to bite into. I gave them the wrong size drill bit. Now, if you're doing a standard screw or a bolt, going the same size as your shaft works. Mm -hmm. so you'll see here when I get down to the point where it starts to bite, We'll actually pinch the board and pull it down. Stronger. Okay, so next step is measuring each of our widths here and cutting those boards. I would recommend knocking off about a 16 inch. 16th of an inch to because, give us a bit more give. Yeah. Okay. And then we cut all the boards because they saw the same size. About, yeah. I mean, they'll be a bit different, but we'll see. Okay, so that's next step. So we measured our cuts, we made some marks. Now we're cutting the side board pieces. Just one mark on this one? Yeah, just one mark on that one. And they're going to fit there. We'll fasten them in. Give us a little bit of a gap give and that's good. That's more like just keep climbing outside now. Yes. Uh, okay. Why not? 
uh, that's the good side. And here we see the hard-working brother in his natural habitat, working hard. Once we get these sides on, the pits will already be a lot safer for the skinks. They won't be able to escape. And then we'll work on the uh, lids that will basically predator-proof them. At least for any predators that we'd have in the city. Look at how awesome this is going to look. Not bad for some junky warped boards. Yeah. <laughs> and like this is not super secure, but it's definitely enough to keep them getting out. Yeah, no, exactly. They won't be able to just climb out easily like they were before. Yeah. And like my idea was just get something on the side there to keep it crawling out. Mm-hmm. Where's the other bit? Did it fall? Uh, there's that. Where's your drill? Oh, there it did fall. It did fall, yeah. And then the skinks can come out more and enjoy this and I don't have to worry about them as much. Oh, this board isn't on the divider properly. Oh, because the divider fell down that my divider is not where it's supposed to be came out of the board how's the other side nice and sturdy so we'll fix that hey friends this video ends here because we called it a day here but we never got back to it all of 2021 the pits remained like this open but with a lip so the lizards couldn't climb out. Unfortunately I had two issues with the pits last year. The open top meant I had to stay by the pits when the skinks were out in case a local predator appeared and the pits also became overgrown with thistle which the skinks didn't mind but I certainly did. Unfortunately that meant I didn't use the pits as much as I'd planned to I was really thrilled when the snow melted this year in 2022 and I could get back to work on the pits. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see what we've ended up doing with the pits this year and for video of the skinks enjoying the sunshine in them. Many thanks friends. Bye for now.